Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. What I have for you guys today is some Urgot gameplay in Diamond Elo. Not too many Urgot changes recently as far as the build goes, but there might be some on the next patch, so let me know if you guys want to see a video on that, or maybe a quick intro like this just going over the important changes for next split. Anyways, these longer videos do take more time and effort to make, so if you do like them, please drop a like, it helps out the algorithm. And with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. Darren Lane is pretty chilled, though. I do think this matchup got a little bit harder with the Sterak nerf. Ooh, I should have eat him. I didn't think he was going to keep committing on that E. It's nice if I can kind of auto him every once in a while just to keep his passive down. A nice little trick you can do is, uh, wow, this guy's really aggressive. He just wants to push the wave. You can try to run at him when you get a fleet proc, though, and then just get one auto just to keep his passive down because you get that little speed beast. All right, I need to push back on the wave, though. This guy's going kind of crazy. He's going to spin on this again. I'm not used to such an aggressive Garen player. They're usually more passive. Definitely going to zone him off the cannon. He's not going to be too happy about that. I am kind of worried about a incoming jungle gank. Oh, that's a kill, dude. He messed that one up hard. Yeah, this guy is extremely aggro, man. It's a Diamond 3 Garen. I'm not used to them playing like that. But I'll gladly take the 300 G's. If he W's like that before your E, it like doesn't even stun him. Okay, we do need to be a little bit careful. He's not running Ignite though, so I can... Risk it for the biscuit a little bit. Kind of want to go Cole. We do have enough for Phage, though. I could go straight into Cleaver. I really like Cole, though. Especially against Garen. I don't know if I'm going to kill this guy. I mean, I'll try to kill him again, but I don't, I don't know if I can kill him, like, right away. I'll probably need my grinder first. Oh, dude, I want to get my cannon. Okay, he died really early. Doesn't really look like I can go in. Not even sure what he was fighting over. Oh, probably the crab. Okay, I want to wait a little bit to push. We do want a hard push, though. Once I think Viego's kind of out of the area, then I'll go for the push. E before he keys. It's nice if you can also get your W on. I need to get better at that. You want to E and W like right before he keys you. Because your W stays on through his silence. Like you just can't toggle it, but it stays on. Fruit's going to spawn in a minute. I guess we'll just pressure. We should be safe right now. I think Viego's going to be bot side. Wow, he used his W. If he walks up now, I can E-Flash. Because his W's down for a, a good amount of time here. And there it is. We punished the mistake there. Little mistake of him using W. But very punishable if you keep your eye out for it. Garen W is what makes this matchup really hard. So if you can ever get them to use that... Well, at least when you have flash, that's like your your moment to all in. All 
All right, we'll snag this plating. That'll be another 125. We're getting a ton of gold, man. He does have time at though. Hmm. I mean, I could just sack a plate here. If he cancels me, it's also fine. I wouldn't mind. Dang, I was hoping I would have enough for Swifties. I'm not even going to recharge my mana right now. I probably should have got back a little bit more mana. I shouldn't have used my E. Yeah, maybe I should have just stayed, actually. He gets a plate and I lose a wave. But we also got the plate and we denied a wave, so... Uh, Garen a lot weaker on this patch. I think he's really strong, actually. I I don't even think he got nerfed. Dude, Garen's gonna get really crazy on next patch, though. Did you guys see that boot upgrade for Berserker Greaves? Uh, I feel like that's gonna be insane on Garen. Also, a lot of the crit items are just gonna be really insane. I feel like Garen's gonna go pretty crazy. That's gonna be a miss. I just noticed that you called Garen Karen. That could be an April Fool skin, man. A Karen Garen skin. That'd be really weird, though. I want to go scout out the grubs. Galia's ulting bot lane. Nice to get this for the mana team, actually. I'm assuming Nini's gonna reset and then once he starts running topside, I'll I'll try to set up a good push for the grubs. Oh my gosh, my W. Yeah, if I could have that on before the silence, that might have been a kill there. Instead of yelling to Masia, he goes your manager. Oh my god. Dude, that'd be so annoying to lane against. I hope they don't do that skin now. That'd be obnoxious. Especially if it was like a Karen voice filter. An ally has been slain. Think about this Garen build does. He pushes like insanely fast. There we go. I got the W on that time. That's what you want to do right there. Yeah, that makes the trade a lot better. That's a big diff. Alright, really good time to roam, but yeah, he is going to push it insanely fast. Could maybe try something kind of sneaky here. Oh wow, Gal Galio's here too. Need I really hit to rotate? Kind of want to just all in this guy. He's taking a ton of damage. Wow, they got the Thresh as well. We should take him out first because he's really squishy. Dude, those Grubs actually came in clutch. They got Viego so low. That was actually nice. Oh, look at that. He kind of leashed one of them. It didn't reset. Alright, let's go a little bit early. I don't want to miss a wave with how fast this guy pushes. Those fights are always a little bit weird because usually that second batch of grubs. Oh, wait, is that the second batch? That's the first batch, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually the first batch. That was a really late grub. Alright, well, I thought we got one earlier. Whoa, I didn't even see what was going on there. My bad. It's focusing on my wave. I want to just push and get a good back time here. It's good to back while he's like roaming right now because yeah, he just pushes so fast if he's in the lane. Uh, we'll go Swifties for now. I'm probably going to swap this over to Tabby's late game though, especially if Jinx gets fed. But Swifties will be nice right now because they're going to help me just force on the matchup. 
The thing about Garen, he can kind of always run from Urgot a little bit. Wow, nice. This Nunu is staying alive, man. 1 HP again. I got a red buff now, too. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, Garen can always kind of run from Urgot, but if you have a little bit of speed, you can sometimes stick to him for just that extra second. And sometimes that's all it takes to get the kill. Need to get that cannon real fast. But yeah, as you can see, phase rush. Phase rush plus his W, plus his Q also cleanses slow, so. He is very safe. I'm gonna dive when he goes for the cannon. Nice, man. We are shredding this lane. I turned on my sport mode for this game. We're going 1v9 crab. Okay, everybody's bot side. Pretty sure he has teleport, doesn't he? If he doesn't TP, I'm going to push one more wave. Every wave counts. I'm going to try. Usually I get a Sterak second, but we're winning this so hard that I'm going to try Stride Breaker just for the speed. Like, same concept with the uh, Swifties. I just want to stick to him. Honestly, though, the Stride Slow is not going to be that good because he can cleanse it, like, super easily. And then also Phase Rush gives slow resist. But I think it'll still be good even if I have to roam. I think Stride will do more in a team fight than Sterex will right now. Oh yeah, that new uh, Blood Mill or whatever. I think that thing's going to be pretty good on Urgot. I'm excited to try that out. I feel like it has to be good at least late game because it like scales so hard with your HP, right? Or maybe bonus HP. They have the item on Arena right now, and it's I've I've rolled it a few times. It feels pretty good. Garen's trying to be sneaky. Oh, that Q is way off. Oh, my goodness. I got my W on before he silenced, though. So we hard out trade him. My W does way more than his spin right now. Into the grinder, dude. Holy moly. The cleaver's feeling so good. Kind of looking for a TP, but I don't think I'll need it. If I can just cash in the tower here, man, we can start roaming a little bit. All right, Viego's here. That's fine. If we're making Viego come topside, then, like, he can't counter gank bot. He can't help out mid, so it's really good. Oh, hello. Hello and goodbye. I was wondering if he was going to turn that corner. Oh, the red buff is up too. We should help out Nunu first though. Get a little flankeroo here. I still get the stun on that. Ooh, smart man. Going for the blast gun. I was hoping he would try to run through here. Man, I just got another red buff. I have, like, perma red buff this game. I'm going to keep going on this. I think if I get my red buff, we can actually kill him here. It's a pretty easy grinder, la grinder to land. Don't mind me, just in their base, guys. 
Oh man, I'm so dead. All right, I kind of deserved that. That's way too greedy. I was feeling, I was feeling it too much. I was feeling the Urgot power, the power of the Dreadnought. All right, we got a ton of gold to spend now. I could either go Holebreaker and Sterex are both pretty good. Holebreaker's a little bit cheaper now. How much CC do they have? A pretty decent amount, right? Yeah, a pretty decent amount. I'm going to go for Sterex. I want that 20% tenacity. I, welcome you. I wish there was like a good wart to flank TP. Holy fail proof. Thank you for the 45 months, man. Tier 3 sub. Thank you, dude. Oh my goodness. I don't even need a TP. Alright, I'll try to go for tier 2 here. Actually, I don't know if I can. Their, their whole team is going to spawn by the time I get there. I'm so glad they added the damage back on minions with Stridebreaker. That was so annoying at the start of the season, how it just didn't do damage. Or didn't do damage to minions, rather. Okay, he's rotating. This will be free tower, then. My Q one-shots the mages right now. I want to get a good team fight, especially while I have flash up. Could flash on this guy. I don't know if it's worth. Oh, that's actually smart. All right, going to be honest, I did not think about him doing that. The only reason I did that play is because we just won another team fight, so I was thinking I probably won't be using my flash for a while. I don't like to sit on flash for so long on Urgot. Oh, she turned the wrong corner, dude. It's so good with Urgot to play off those corners, like just play around the vision. Because if somebody walks into Urgot E, they just die every time. All right, now we'll go for Hole Breaker. In a game like this, I just I want to keep going damage. And Hole Breaker is really nice because it also gives speed, HP. Oh, nice, GG. Well, dang, that was really nice. That was a Diamond Three Garen, so pretty solid. All right, let's do this. I really want to play for early call in this match. Every tank matchup, always try to get early call. Cheetah recall into call. I could have got another auto, but I want to make sure he doesn't auto for Brittle there. Dude, this orange skin is so good, by the way. I need to get that skin. I love the sound effect on that Q popping up. I'm trying to bait out his W. There it is. That's good. If he W's like that, we can go in for a little trade. It's still hard to land E, though, if he spaces it. Dude, I don't know. I can't cheat against this guy. He's pushing too hard. I am getting creep locked. for decades. Wow, this is the first tank I haven't been able to do a cheetah recall against in quite some time. Dude is hard pushing. 
Brittle's gonna run out. Oh my god, that was so clean, dude. That was so clean. I timed that to where he would be stunned and the Brittle would run out. And then we also got a tower fling. Okay, that was actually insane. I will say him pushing so aggressively like this made it to where I could like trade a little bit more. So that was kind of nice. Okay, we're going to have to stay a little bit longer. I'm still going to go Cole even though it's a little bit late. It's still worth it in a tank lane, I think. Am I going to miss Cannon if I back in TP right now? I don't care if he does damage to me. I'm just going to port back anyway. This should be perfect. He'll take a little bit of time to kill the cannon there. Ooh, I can't get boots. That's fine. I don't really need boots against Orn. Refill's actually pretty nice. Whoa, bot lane with a triple. Oh, the Shaco gank. Nice. That's what we need. Shaco needs to camp mid and bot this game. He should stay away from top lane and just let me farm. Because once it goes late game... Yeah, once it goes late game, they just scale out of control. We need to win early. Not only do they scale out of control, but also Orn upgrades. I think if I remember right, isn't each Orn upgrade like a thousand gold worth of stats? That's fine. Orn used to Z. I'm chilling. I was going to see if I could maybe go for a grinder kill, but I don't think it's worth the risk. He didn't go off, sadly. It's a bit of a rocky trade, but I'm not going to pop refill yet because I want to try to heal up with fleet plus call. If I can get like two or three W's off, we can actually heal back up. But I could get Orn ulted. Maybe we should pop refill, actually. This is pretty dicey. Oh, no, I'm dead. Wait a minute. He's dead. What the heck? Alright, tower for the win, I guess. I thought I was dead for sure with that E. Does he have teleport? I think he used it. Let's try to push here. Well, dang, I'm glad I had enough mana for everything there. I wish I could help you guys out, but I got nothing. Nice, this back is really good, too. We can maybe get another kill at 9. And also, he had to go Bramble, too. Um, I don't have any skins on this account. But I actually really like the base got. Shut down. Is that Shaco? He better not dive in. Oh, I could have queued that. He's too busy looking at the Shaco. I was thinking he might dive in because it's Kindred Mark. All right, one more level to go. And buying items from lane is so crazy. That's got to be one of the best passives. 
Not to mention Orn passive is like three things in one. It's like not even just that. Wow, really? Again? Got his flash. These guys really want to kill me, man. It's so weird how I get camped whenever I play versus tanks. Because, like, it's not worth it to feed them. But I guess if Kendra gets the kill, it can be worth it. And they do have good gank setup, I suppose. So I guess I kind of just answered my own question. I, I still don't think you should, like, overly play for a tank lane, though. Especially against Urgot, because I'm just going to scale so good. Even if they do kill me, it doesn't really slow down my game that much. They nerfed his passive a bit so he doesn't have lane sustain from purchasing items. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it used to be really insane because you'd actually like get the HP from the item. Yeah, good point. Oh, there's the Warden and Bramble. So even though I've hard outplayed this lane, he's actually kind of impossible to kill now until I get Cleaver. Shotguns still do a little bit, but he blocks out so much of my W. Grinder in 10, though. Wow, what a nice guy. Give me the kill, too. I'll definitely make use of that. Botlane is starting to lose now, suddenly. After Kaisa got four kills. The Jinx is scaling. I'm going to proxy this wave and then just get Cleaver. If he does try to fight me, I have Shaka nearby. I kind of hope he fights me. I can maybe bait something. I think he might just go for the wave, though. That's fine. Either way is fine with me. Guys, I can't wait till next patch, by the way. They're they're bringing back the 30% armor reduction from Cleaver. Or on Cleaver. They're putting it back to 30% pen. Or armor reduction, I mean. I don't know why they took off that 5%. It's actually pretty big. Yeah, Orn's roaming here. I had a feeling. That's the only play he can do. It's either that or backing. Gonna stack these up for a Q. Not a great room for him, though. I'll greed one more plate. We'll do another proxy into Grebs. Nice, I got that ward, barely. Oh, this is bad. Dang, I couldn't get that Q off. Alright, well, we finally got punished on the proxy because Pike rotated. Tabbies are really good here. Hmm, Sterex and Holebreaker is both really good. I like Holebreaker a little bit more, I think. This wave is definitely worth TPing for.
Might need to help out with the grubs. I hope they shut down this Vlad here. Guy's going a little crazy. Whoa. I want to get tower first. It's first tower gold. I think they're going to get bot lane. Oh wait, bot lane's actually really healthy still. I was going to flash on Kindred with that ulti, but I thought she had ulti. Or I was kind of worried maybe that she would. This guy has no tower, so he's got nowhere to run now. I got to be careful though, dude. He might kill me. Oh, Shaco backed? I got the red buff heals for life. No cleaver stack. I guess I just missed. I'm afraid to go in on him, to be honest. I feel like he's going to combo me out. 220. We can sell Cole plus refill and then run to drag. I'm thinking that's the play here. Level 12, two items, 15 minutes. We can do work in a fight right now. The only thing is I don't have flash. That could actually make the difference. I'm actually doing good damage. I think red buff is helping out, helping a lot. All right, they don't need me for this, so let's start recalling. We want to go top and then deny the mark plus get rift. It's really important when you're this fed on Urgot, like especially if you get an early two item spike, it's really important to try to win the drag fights. I pretty much always rotate for those. It's so much better than splitting. And also Dragon souls like a win con in every game. So you gonna try to jump over for this? This Orn knows something sketchy's up. I was kind of waiting on that just to see if we could uh, get his ulti. I wonder if it was still on cooldown. I need Grinder to kill that guy. I'm just gonna wait till my E, then we can dive. Hmm, I don't know. I'm in a bad spot right now. Okay, that was really greedy for him to try to W. I'm thinking he definitely has backup. Oh my goodness, Goldblad, what's up, dude? Thank you for the five gifted, man. The Penta gift. I'll try to get a pentakill for you this game, dude. I think I actually could penta this game. I am very strong. I can TP to the Shaco thingy. 
Oh no. Oh, I misplayed that so bad. Dude, I think that Triumph on Jinx saved me. No way I actually lived there. How did I even... Did I get the kill on Jinx or did somebody jump in? I was so focused on just trying to live. Oh, Shaco got rinsed. Mm, I kind of don't want to recall here. I'm so low, but I want my stair axe, man. Can we just get a snigga kill real quick? I think Pike is going to be here, or he's going to go bot lane. But he gets around the map so fast. Oh, no, I missed. My bad on the ulti there. I could have saved her. Mm. I don't love having to use flash right now, but I also don't want to give a thousand gold, even to Orin. The longer I can preserve the shutdown, the better. I mean, hopefully I can preserve it the entire match. But I don't know, dude. This late game, their late game is about to hard spike by the way going top is a little bit bad here I think I just get one wave and then we rotate to drag actually I'm gonna sack top wave cloud drags are too important cloud soul is the best soul in the game and my favorite I probably shouldn't take waves from ADC when I'm this fed. It's okay, she's also fed. I can get a free ulti on this guy. One thing that's nice about tanks late game is you can use them just for a free ulti usually. Because usually they're playing frontline and like tanking and they're usually the first to die if your team is focusing. And they're usually very easy to land grinder on as well. Make sure we take all their jungle. Always take jungle when you're really far ahead. Yeah, they need to play for bot now. Or for Baron. I want to be bot now. I'll have teleport soon. Soon, TM. They're going to see my hole breaker, though. This is what I don't like about hole breaker, man. You can't go for the cheeky bush plays. Okay, I'm like just out of range to where she it's not buffing it. So maybe she'll walk up. I'd be really surprised if she actually left here. Wow, she is. Maybe she saw it before I got out of range. Oh, what the? Mm, we can't really run him down, can we? I might as well get this wave just so he doesn't get tower. I think he's trying to sneak objective bounty. We're getting weird that he'd be bot lane right now, though. Isn't that just free Baron? I was not expecting that. I'm just going to run at him. What's the worst that can happen? What's he going to do? Kill me? Wow, that's not enough? Okay, nice. I can't believe that Q wasn't enough. I even waited for the hop, too. But yeah, him going bot is just free Baron for us.
I don't think you want to hook me, dude. I'm level 16. Okay, wait. Maybe not. I got one. Get over here, Cass. I need some backup. Wow, they still don't kill me, dude. Triumph is so clutch right now. I have 3,000 healing from Triumph. It's calculated, guys. I'm just baiting. Okay, now we port back in. Uh, let's see. What do I even want this game? I'd probably go Randians. We kind of just tank up now. I'm going to tank out this minion. Oh, I tried to predict that, dude. Nice. GG, though. Vladimir sold his whole build. Holy moly. Well, we got his bone plating off. I don't want to all in him. Because uh, he has lethal tempo. Dude, it's going to be so nice next patch. We can probably fight Yoni level 1 when they delete lethal tempo. That's going to really change the match. It'll be interesting to see how that changes a quite a few matchups, honestly. Because I feel like besides Darius, the only champions that really beat Urgot level 1 are le uh, lethal tempo users. Oh, he barely got me with that. Let's just go for the quick trade. There's a big wave here. I got creep blocked. I might have zoned him off XP there on the cannon. He might have been just in range. Hard to tell. Nice. Taking out the Lucian lane already. Wow. Very nice. He must have got a pull. That's actually an even trade. My jungle is pretty far, too. I thought that would have been a little bit better. Okay, I can definitely E flash here if he walks up a bit. Alright, sweet. Very good start of the land. Good flash by him, though, honestly. Also, we're going to have to TP back here after these mages, I think. I could try to risk it, I guess, maybe. Mm, probably not. The wave is kind of big, though, maybe. He's thinning it down, though. Okay, now it's really good to reset. We got him super chunked. Hopefully Echo doesn't like pop out with a W right here. Nice, I got XP on that too. Uh, I want to go Hole Breaker. Oh my god, nothing bot. Dude, it's 1150. I thought it was 1100, so I was clicking it. Oh no. Okay, honestly, we can push and back again. It kind of sucks. But I actually don't think it's too bad. I just have to push really fast. I might miss, like, a minion. Man, 
Man, I forgot it's 11.50. They upped the gold by 50 on this thing. I actually kind of like this a little bit better. I get more damage. I'm going to try to go for a grinder kill because we're, we're doing pretty good in this land. Yoni's a matchup where if I land an E on him, we can completely 100 to 0 him with this much damage. Wow, he was literally 1 HP, I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's going for it. She's slithering. Um, against Yoni, I always go hull first, yeah. I'm gonna try the, uh, hull breaker into stride build this game. I wanna try hull into stride. Ooh, I should've eat that. I'm surprised he went for it. I should've been a little bit more faster there. This guy E's in a lot, though. I can definitely get him once my E's up. Okay, yeah, my damage is cracked right now. That's crazy. Jungle's top side. I'm still pretty healthy, though. Let's just pop potion just in case. He's probably going to at least cover the wave. Maybe he's going mid. I don't know. This guy got back pretty fast. Could do that in boots. I like that, actually. There is a chance I die against Yoni if he gets, like, full combo. He has to win a trade first, though. He can't completely 100 to 0 me. He has to get me to, like, 70%. Mm, I do miss a wave here, actually. He pushed that fast. A wave and a plate. That kill is still really good for us, though. Yeah, that's true about lethal tempo getting removed, like hurting Yoni and Yasuo, but I'm pretty sure Riot's going to find a way to buff him up. And also, a lot of the attack speed crit items are getting, like, mega buffed. So I'm sure it'll kind of make up for it. I tried to E him on that Q3. Wow, I didn't get any of those. All right, well, he did actually kind of chunk me out. And they got an ocean now. Okay, this is a little, little bit dicey. I can E-Flash soon, though. That's a kill. That's an Urgot moment. I mean, this is just how the lane with Urgot goes. You kind of just play off your Flash like that. Get him chunked out a little bit. He definitely has teleport. This wave doesn't fully crash either. He still has ulti too. Oh, maybe he used teleport. I guess he did. Alright, cool. We got Hullbreaker now. Hullbreaker is insane if you can get it around 10 minutes. Oh my god, that timing. So sketchy. Nice, it's a cannon wave too. I don't even think I'll miss cannon. We got that hole breaker movement speed. 
Also, Dumo Mega, thank you for the prime sub, man. Appreciate the three months, dude. This guy better back up, man. I'm level nine. He has ulti advantage for 10 seconds, though. Oh, I walked into that one. I want to kill those minions for that level up. Wow, he got nuked. That Lee Sin has a lot of damage, too. This is why Holberger is so good if you get it around 10 minutes. Because now I can just straight up take his tower. Ooh, maybe not actually. Oh my gosh, Yoni's TP in too. Into the grinder. Rip. Dang, 400 gold shutdown too, actually. That guy has eight kills. An enemy has been slain. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I think Tabbies are still really good here. Because honestly, Yoni's still a threat, and they, they got Lucian too. Merc Treads aren't really good for the MR. They're more just if you need Tenacity. So I'll just buy some early MR this game, probably. Should be able to kill this guy again here. Got a good angle on the grind here. Alright, sweet. Now we can take his tower. This guy's asking me if I can't see the map. I did see that Lisa and died. I actually didn't see that Silas was there, though. I thought it was just Echo. And I was still kind of healthy, so I was going to risk it. That is the thing about hole breakers. Like, I always want to risk it for plates after I get a kill. Which is really good, but if if mid rotates over and jungle, that's, that's what can get you. to block the E for him. How's this guy faster than I am? This guy's so fast. I mean, he can't really run anywhere, dude. Get stalled, I guess. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can push the wave in real quick. Let's push this wave and then reset. Maybe help out with Rift, too, if we need to. This guy's probably good solo, though, right? I guess I got some time. Our wave's pretty pushed. Uh, I was gonna try stride second, that's right. This build is like really good in the side lane, I think. Hull breaker into stride. I also wanna try cleaver into stride too. But with Hullbreaker stride, you just have so much movement speed, so it's like really easy to stick on the person 1v1. So you can kind of just run them down in the side lane. Oh wow, he actually got the tower there. Oh, dude, I wish I had teleport. I'm not going to make it if I run. We know everybody's at Drake, though, so I can either dive this guy or just try to take his tier two. 
I can hunter to zero him pretty easy right now in the dive. It's actually a little bit harder than I thought. But really important to do that right now since we see their entire team. So I know he's not going to have any reinforcements. I don't like how they're getting Dragon, so I'm definitely going to have to rotate for the next one. Or hopefully have my teleport. Maybe I'll stick around. This feels like it might be a fight. I'm kind of low, but maybe I can bait something with my E. Wait, Blitz. Dude, help me out, man. Let's go down this way. He's going to flank me. Thank goodness I had flash up, man. That was way too close. I thought our blitz was going to like go in a little bit more. All right, stride breaker. Then we go cleaver. Nice. My team is cleaning house though. Silas is the one that's pretty scary on their team. Everybody else is pretty underfed. Shut down. Germany has over 3,000 different kinds of bread. Oh my goodness. Rampage. That's insane, actually. I didn't even know there was that many types of bread in general. You better not try to take this. Oh no, I can't move. Holy moly, dude. Almost six seconds CC duration. I knew it. I should have just got my crab and got out of there. I got baited by the crab, dude. I didn't know it was going to do me like that as a fellow crab. I could try to TP on spawn here. This is actually a really good TP ward. Do we win the fight, though? I think we can. Everybody's so chunked. If I get one good snipe... Wow, they're still going in. These guys do not back down. Clean up on mid lane. Baron's still down. I'll just get a bot here, I think. Nice, we got a lot of gold off that. I'll take it. I'll gladly take that. Kind of avenge myself for that death. Dude, I had a moment like that too, Buddha. Kind of recently. I had this league play recently where... I feel like I've been in the exact play. Have you guys ever had that happen where you feel like you've been in the exact league play before? Which honestly, maybe it has happened. I've played so many games. Oh, Yoni TP'd. Ah, oh, that grinder's slow. I was actually going to get out with Stride. That grinder slow got me, though. I welcome you. Honestly, my deaths have been pretty bad this game. Like, that's another avoidable death. I can't remember my... Oh, yeah, the first death, too. I think all three of my deaths have been really avoidable this match. 
I did not see the Yoni teleport though. Oh dude, thanks for gifting us up, Noxious. Appreciate it, man. Happens to you all the time. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, I had this play where I swear, like, everything lined up, and I feel like I've been in that exact play before. Okay, they might actually get Soul this game. Oh my god, that burst. That must have been four shot. Yeah, Baron for sure. I wonder if I should push mid, though. Yeah, I can push mid. Because they can Baron without me, so we can get two birds in one stone. Urgot is trash now with the nerf, you think so? This is actually my first game on this patch. I don't think he's going to be trash, but I, I do think it will hurt a little bit. I can e-buff for that. Gosh, I can't get away from this friggin' Leona, though, man. Maybe Bloodline was a little bit greedy this game. I took Bloodline because I was thinking so much of their CC I can just e-buffer. Which, like, it's really easy to e-buffer Silas and, uh, like, everything else. But I can't really e-buffer Leona. She has too much CC. All right. Anyways, we got our Cleaver now. Let's go into Sterex. Um, The nerfs on Urgot, they nerfed his armor growth a little bit. But the big nerf is they nerfed Sterax. They made it 200 gold more pricey. And the cooldown is 90 seconds instead of 60 seconds now. So that really hurts. And yeah, 3200 is... It's the same price as Protein now. Which is actually kind of a lot. Even if we can't get a kill here, we can definitely go for the uh, tier 2. So I think this TP will be good. Wow, he chooses to flash over ulti. Okay, that's actually good. Yeah, I think personally, though, I, I think they should have just nerfed Sterax. I don't think they should have also done the armor nerf. Because, like, Urgot is not an OP champion, man. He has so many rough matchups. Bruce is feeling good this game, though. I'm liking Stride, honestly. Stride is even really good in a team fight too, because you get a bunch of movement speed to proc your shotguns really fast. Like, it just helps you maneuver a team fight. Oh, I missed. Nice, GG. Solid game. Played better than last game, guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's the nice thing about having a bad game, though. It's like, you can't play worse than that. Like, this game just has to get better. I mean, it is my first Urgot game today, so I should go better. Or should go good, I'm in. This guy's doing the Garen build that's really good versus Urgot, though, which is just Phase Rush. If they go Conquer, the matchup gets a lot easier. Or, I would say a little bit easier. Maybe not a lot easier. Oh, 
Always try to auto attack as much as you can in this land. Nice, I got a fleet proc there so he couldn't cube me. That's clutch. Might be able to kill here. I don't know. I don't want to like over. I don't want to go for it too hard because I don't have PTA or ignite. Getting his bone plenty with that shotgun's really nice. Kind of worried jungle might be here pretty soon. Nice. I'll keep his passive down with that auto. Maybe if he greets for a cannon, we kill. If not, he just loses cannon. It's also good. Yeah, I need to get out of this lane, though. I'm going to get ganked. You players like to go for the full clear a lot of the time. I will say they actually have a pretty... Garen Yi's a pretty bad combo for ganking. Like, they don't have a way to lock me down. So I can just proc my fleet and just run. Unless I'm, like, really low HP and they just burst me. Urgot into Zed, Talon, or Yoni. Yasuo it seems free. Urgot seems super strong on mid lane. He's really strong if you get those matchups, yeah. If you get those melee matchups, he's really good. Like, those matchups, you can actually kill so much easier than top laners. Especially if you get PTA. Whoa, what's he doing? Mm, I'm not going to flash. He'll phase rush away. Man, I can't believe he doesn't die for that, but at least we get his flash. I'll try to ping that in a sec here. I don't want to miss a minion. Still has ghost. Kind of sucks to have to use Q. That's so much mana. So, next wave is cannon, right? It should be. I really want to get double longsword on this next back. Because then I have a little bit of kill pressure. This would be really good to back on this wave, though. Mm, we can back after cannon. I'll have enough then. ADC is so outclassed. My ball lane is 0-3, man. I feel like the game hasn't even started yet for me. They're already wanting to surrender. Kind of scared he gets 6 here and just runs me down. Mid is losing 1v1 as well. I'm about to get cheesed by this Garen. I can feel it. But he doesn't have flash. I guess he can't super cheese me. Mm, get bait by him. I had a feeling he was going to do that too. Play with the chat off so you can't see bot lane tilting. Yeah, that's smart. The thing is, though, even if I couldn't see them typing, like, I guess it doesn't change their gameplay, right? Have you been so far? Pretty good. Been mostly practicing Skarner today. The Urgot games have been rough today, but... It's only the second one, I guess. Has 
I'm actually... Oh, he's staying. I want to get one more trade, but it's so risky. He's trying to bait out my E. Alright, now we're going to TP back. This is a good time. Wait, Balling getting a kill now. Alright, they're turning it around, maybe. Oh, yeah, they're on grubs, aren't they? I thought he was gonna flash. Alright, well, he got all three of the grubs, but big shutdown for Lilia. Wow, she actually gets one comboed, and this guy just phase rushes away. Yikes. He got a red buff now. I need to try to kill Garen here. Oh no. I have to try to go for it. It sucks I missed that though. But with how the game is looking, I, I think I have to try for that for sure. That's so weird for you to do that play though. He literally dies and just runs straight for a top lane gank on death. An enemy has been slain. That is really, really weird. An enemy has been slain. Hey, welcome in, Rich Tiger. Who's the better horse, Hecarim or Lilia? They're both pretty good. Probably Hecarim, though. Hecarim's probably more consistent. You know, I would much rather play versus uh, Hecarim over Lilia, though. Like for Urgot. I think Hecarim's actually one of the best champs for Urgot. Because, like, the guy just runs in and commits, and you can just get a free grinder, like, every time. He's really easy to burst, too. It appears I don't do damage to Garen anymore. Okay, actually, I take that back. I do pretty good damage. I got my W on before he silenced me, which was really important. And then I also E'd right before he silenced. So EW right before he Q silences. Really, really important for the trades. Surprised I did so much damage there, though. Because that first trade, I was feeling really weak. All 
All right, cool. We got Cleaver now. I'm in a winning spot against Garen. I just I hope the game doesn't get too out of control before I can kind of help my team out. Definitely a tabby game. I am going to lose a wave and probably a play, but that's fine. I got a lot off that play. Oh yeah, I guess he didn't W before my... Yeah, he didn't W before the E, did he? So that first trade he used his W, so he was getting a bunch of damage reduction. But yeah, I think on that second one he didn't have it. That's why my damage felt so much better. Dude, if I land this ulti... Okay, nice. I actually had a good angle. If he doesn't run against the wall, that's so hard to land with his ghost on. Nice, we're getting Dragon too. Okay, this is actually looking really winnable now. Yeah, against Durgot, you should never hug the wall. Because Grinder is actually so hard to land if you don't got a good angle. Oh no, they get six grubs. Dang, six grubs on a Garen, man. He's going to just split push the entire game. All right, well, I know what build I'm doing then. All right, sweet. That's huge. I could try to cash in my call. Maybe try to bait Garen too. Oh, he's going for the proxy. Wait, this is good. He should be dead now. I just can't get baited. Good try, my friend. Almost. You gotta spin a little faster next time. Oh, Zed's hunting for me too. I'll just recall over here then. <laughs> Lily is like, I'm safe with her gut. Got the bot the body crab. The bodyguard. Alright, nice. We're massive now. I don't know what his plan there was. I actually didn't think he was going to... Oh, he probably thought I was going to recall, and then he was going to proxy, and then I lose, like, two waves. I think that was his plan. It's actually not a bad proxy if... Uh... But did he know my Lily? I think he knew Lily was there. I don't know. That was kind of risky. Maybe he knew he was dead, and he was just going to try to get a wave, and then one for one. I don't know if he ever saw Lilia though when I killed the Yi. I don't I don't think he did. Cause I soloed the Yi. I can win if Zed jumps in, but if he doesn't jump in, it's kinda kinda hard to force. Oh my god, he got it. Wait, is Zed not with him? Wow, Zed is bot already. Okay, I'm going to TP on this most likely. I need to get the wave first, though. Come on, team. Turn this. Wow, he's going in? I want to flash there before he shadows away. Alright, we're going to go Hole Breaker and then 
I think I'm gonna do stride too. I think stride fourth is really good against Garen. With Holebreaker and Stride, you can kind of stick to him a little bit. But you have to use your abilities in, like, a really smart order. Like, you kind of have to Q him and then hope he uses his Q, because his Q cleanses slows. So you want to, like, bait that up before you use Stride Breaker. But then he also has Phase Rush, too. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. With 4 item, though, you can kind of nuke him if you just have, like, a little bit of time. Alright, we're going to have to rotate on this. Actually looks pretty good. No Zed in this fight. Oh, dude, I wish I had Blue Trinket. Where did Garen... Oh. He cancelled his recall. We should get this before it despawns. Why don't you take Herald? Is it not worth it? It's definitely worth it, but you want to try to, you want to try to win the fight first, because like Herald's still gonna be there. At least for like another minute or two. I was going to see if I could snipe that Garen and then, like, maybe try to dive. We got two levels on Garen. He's just too hard to stick to, though. That's why it's really important to just keep the wave pushed. Especially when he has six grubs. If he gets on this tower for, like, ten seconds, he'll take it super easily. Yeah, with full build, you should win against Garen. It's just the thing is, he's... The hard part is sticking to him. That's the hard part. If he tries to, like, run in and just fight you with E, though, like, you'll win 10 out of 10 times. Urgot definitely skills harder than Garen does. I wonder if he's going to proxy my wave. Okay, his team might be coming. Either way, Lilia should try to gank here, or counter gank. Because I'm really strong. We can win the fight. Oh, yeah. Better to go for these guys so I can kite towards my team. Nice, dude. That's like the game-winning fight there, maybe. He can't kill me as long as I have my E up. Man, Sterex came in so clutch in that fight. That's where Sterex really shines. When you just need to, like, buy a little bit of time for your team and just tank. Alright, if you want to cancel me, dude. Grinder in 10. Oh, he actually TP'd back. It's going to be hard to land this, maybe. Oh, never mind. The flick of the wrist. Alright, we are actually gigantic this game. Um, Yeah, we should definitely go stride. 100%. Definitely a stride game. Movement speed, wave clear. Just going to be really good. Plus more damage. I wonder if I should go full damage this game. How good is Jack Show? It's decent. The thing is, they have a lot of true damage, though. Garen ulti, Master Yi, Zed has Cleaver. 
Uh, Perthane would be okay, but I think Stride is a lot better here. Perthane is like, it's really risky. They have a lot of burst if I get Garen ulted. But I also think movement speed is just extremely important. Oh, that sucks. Man, really? I missed that? This E is shredding me too, man. It's either between Jack Show or Spear after Stride, but I think I probably will go Jack Show just for a little bit of resist. I feel like it always rounds the build off pretty nice. Oh wow, we actually got aced. Hmm, okay. I mean, I don't think that's a huge deal, but we do have to play really good because bot lane's getting slaughtered. Oh yeah, wow, it's worth a thousand gold actually. That is a pretty bad death. Probably use my Herald bot lane. Your turret has been destroyed. Splitting is kind of bad this game though, I think. Like it's good to it's good to match the Garen and push out the lane, but I think besides that we want to be team fighting. Splitting is so hard on the Cloud Rift map because people just get here so quick. I can clutch this dragon fight though, I think. I'm gonna save this rift in case I need it right away. I can use it as a getaway. Well, unless I kill it. Okay, I did not plan for that. Hmm, I did not plan for that. They killed it so fast. Dang, I got rinsed. The good thing about this play is we still got a tier 2, so it, I actually trade the gold. It actually turns out to be about an even trade. It would have been nice if we got the uh, dragon though. But I think this is, uh, this is actually really good. I can TP on my on my uh, reset too. Your team has destroyed a turret. TP on bot might be good. Should I go for mid? We can try. TP is a pretty short cooldown right now, so we'll see how it goes. Don't ditch me, man. Look how fast I take that inhib. Those hole breaker procs. If you can actually W toggle them, man. Gosh, that's with my stride breaker slow on him. I guess he has ghost on now. Ooh, I don't like this E. Lilia shouldn't be ditching so hard though. We could still win the fight. Be kind of nice to take the red actually. That's kind of big now. Deny it from the entire team. Oh, 
Oh my god, I wonder how close that was. Alright, the important thing is that we just don't die, though. These fights are so crazy, man. I gotta focus so hard if I make like one little mistake. It feels like they could just get barren and end. What's up, Gifted? It's going pretty good, man. We're trying to trying to carry this game. It's kind of hard because I think Pantheon and Lucian have kind of fallen off a bit. They're still kind of doing okay, though, honestly. The Lucian's actually kind of doing stuff. Please don't get picked right now, man. Wait, what? Did she pull him out? Man, that would have been a kill there. They let the Yumi die. Wow, they completely just ditched her. Whoa, Pantheon's ulting in. Is that good? Okay, he got one at least. What if we just go mid? Mid and top right now. Actually, maybe I go bot. I think my team should go top and I should go bot and then I can be ready to TP. They have pretty good wave clear with Garen. Dude's dropping ignite on me. Oh, I guess you me. I just want to zone right now so they can't get the uh, cloud soul. If enemy team gets cloud soul, it's GG. All right, we got Jack Show Gold. Whoa, this guy's completely dead. What's he doing over there? He got a tower at least, but that's a long timer. I mean, honestly, good time to die since we just got Baron. Well, kind of. We got Baron off the map, which is nice, but yeah, we can't really do a Baron power play now. But at least there's no objective for them to just 4v5. Just keep the waves pushed. Master, you went hole breaker. I feel like I haven't seen that. Doesn't seem bad. Actually sounds pretty good, the more I think about it. Alright, let's try to group up here. We got flash up. Our Sterex shield is almost 2k. I shouldn't be able to get bursted. Zed is splitting for some reason. I guess he has teleport. We can just take all their inhibs. We can force him to TP. Yeah, there it is. Just go for a triple inhib. Your team has 
Now we just wait for waves, play it slow. Oh my god, somebody ate it. I guess Zed. Alright, we're gonna end the game if they don't fight. Wow, they don't even want to fight for the death. Victory. Nice, GG. Yeah, here's my runes. Usually I've been going fleet on Urgot, but I like PTA versus Darius because you can trade a lot. And you kind of, you're on a time limit to just burst him before he gets 5 stack. So that's why I like PTA against him. PTA plus Ignite, just try to burst him. Because once the trade goes too long, then you pretty much lose. Urgot in pro play. Yeah, it's been cool to see, man. Blippo did really good on those games versus uh, PSG. I was hoping he would bring out Urgot versus T1, but I understand why he didn't. It's, it's hard to scale against those guys. They play too clean. Um, I just like second win versus Darius because it kind of helps against his bleed a little bit. I've had it save me a few times. There's some people that also do bone plating, but I feel like I get more value out of second win. Oh man, I tried to get three and one. It's actually been a little bit since I played versus Darius, so I was slacking on the the Darius bush cheese. That's fine. He doesn't want to trade there because I have the minions on my side. I was, too, I was too far away from his minions. I swear the people that play Dunkmaster Darius are more aggressive on him. I don't have the stats to back it up, but I've definitely noticed that. Oh my god, I actually got that. Dude, Expelled, thank you for the 32, man. Appreciate the sub. Oh yeah, this should be good. Let me get level 4 first. Is he going to invade? Yeah, they're invading. Oh man, I might be dead. Okay, I thought that pole was going to get me. I think he actually missed. Amumu just needs to cross map and just run, dude. Just run. Don't even. Don't even try. Darius Jarvan is way too strong early game. We have Azer Urgot, so we just have to scale and sell the lens. Yeah, see, he burned his flash just, like, trying to scout it out. It's not even worth it. Nice, Lucia and Nami winning. They should win early, so that's good. Or they kind of need to, rather. Oh no, I'm dead. Wow, Triumph saves me. Dude. Another kill where I think I'm dead and I get the kill. Second time today. Okay, we need to back ASAP though. 
Oh man, we really need it back. This is the thing with like night man. Sometimes you get that kill and it's like it feels really good, but you can end up missing a lot of waves. Really wish I could get boots here, but whatever. Not super important versus Darius. If he pulls you, you're usually you're either e buffering away, or you're just fighting to the death. Once I get six, I'm probably just fighting to the death. Ignite plus teleport? Nah, I don't think that's worth. You really want flash on Urgot. If you don't go flash on Urgot, then jungle's gonna sit in your lane and just camp you the entire match. And then also like E flash, ult E flash late game. There's just too many, too many uses for flash on Urgot. Too many good uses. I think E flash is the one thing that's really broken on Urgot. I think everything else is pretty balanced with his with his uh, kit. I should have eat, but I thought maybe I was getting ganked. I was gonna feel that out before I eat. Yeah, Jarvan is up here. Well, that means we should get Dragon. Hopefully, our bot lane's back, so it's kind of weird. Um, we're playing in like diamond, diamond four, diamond three, ish. Can try to fish for something after he uses key like that. I'm still scared of Jarvan though. I need a ward, but I can't really, I can't run past this guy right now. I want to try to... Okay, he's not going to play up. One thing I like to try to do is get a tower fling. Like, I keep the wave right here. And then sometimes they'll try to pull you right here and you can e-buffer into them. And then get a cheeky tower kill. Ooh, that would have been nice to cancel that. Alright, we got a hard push. This is going to get dicey because he has a ghost up. So being up in this lane is really sketchy. I'm even going to pop a refill and just be full HP, just in case. I think with this big of a wave, though, I don't think he could fight me. But it's really good if we can just get it crash like this and then take the back. It's way better than even trying to fight him. Alright, cool. Smooth lane so far. We're not dying on repeat to J4 ganks. That's always good. Um, I'm not, I'm not really sure, Slime. I wasn't watching when the commentators were talking about that. Were they, what were they trying to say? Level 12 is better than 13? Level 13 is like the, the biggest power spike on Urgot. I would say it is the biggest power spike. Level 13 Urgot is one of the biggest power spikes, like in League of Legends, I think. All champions combined. As far as mid-game power spikes go. Oh yeah, so they're probably saying... So once you get 13, your shotgun cooldown goes to 2.5. It goes from 5 seconds to 2.5 for your shotgun to recharge. And the damage also goes up too. I don't like this fight. He's stacking. I did that Q in case he would flash right there. Yeah, see, this is the thing about Darius. You need, like, 
I needed a bigger wave. You need a huge wave to fight this guy. But I also want to wait until level 9, because then I can W toggle. This is really risky without a ward here. Yep, Jarvan's still here. I get level 9, though. Oh, he got his Q heal. That would have been a kill. We don't see their support in lane right now. Oh, there she is. Whoa, I got the fling off still. I thought the Azer wall was going to mess that up. Oh my gosh, I'm sad. I'm sad. I thought that auto would kill him, but he has Tabby's and Dorn Shield. Dude, if we're playing on next patch, this 12% reducing incoming damage is going to 8%. So this would have been a kill. But whatever, we get Cleaver. The important part is that I get Cleaver on this back, so it's really not that big of a deal. I'm on the way, but I'm pretty far. Holy, he's just getting smoked by that thing. The beam of death. Is he going to fight me? Yeah. I knew it. This is actually a really good fight if I had my grinder. Do I live? Please? Okay, nice. He let me live. Wow. Pretty sure he could have killed me. I'm going to bait him with E. Or he's going to bait me. Oh my god, dude. It's too close for comfort. Jeez. I was baiting him, but he actually baited me. But he still died, so all good. I guess we actually could have gone for a plate, huh? I still can, maybe. Everybody's bot. It's cannon wave, though. Oh my gosh. I didn't know my shotgun was going to get the mages. Alright, whatever. At least we get a plate. Let's get out of here. I don't want to overstay on this. Whoa, he's ghosting already? Wait, calm down, dude. Calm down, Mr. Darius. Does he have flash? I could wait until... No, I can't wait, dude. He'll dive me easily. It's a tabby game for sure. I like Sterak second against Darius always. Sadly, it is 200 gold more pricey, so that's going to be a little bit delayed. Yeah, this was a bad time to back, though, because he... Oh, he didn't get that last plate, though. Nice. Man, I actually... Yeah. Him ghosting was really smart. Because if I get that recall, I get a really good back time. But I couldn't do my recall because he ghosted. I'm surprised he did that. That was actually really smart. What's up with that fruit? Oh my god, I got it with you. I'm just going to do what I can before I die. I got my ignite off at least. Try to loot this thing, maybe? Loot this thing, dude. Get it. Oh, despawned. I mean, I don't blame him. He's doing good damage. 
He's trying his best. Dude, he's actually doing really good damage. Just to haunting, guys. Well, hey, I still get 200 gold off the, uh, like, last hitting it, right? I think. And also, yeah, it wasn't worth a shutdown. That's actually not bad. I can't believe I got that with Q. How much does this smite do? 900? It was like 940, so I think he smited it to like 40 HP. That's clutch. I feel like they're gonna gank me if I try to play up here. Dragon's off the map for another two minutes. Jervin either goes bot lane or top lane. He can't go mid right now. If I land E on this guy, it's easy kill. I'm glad I got that auto attack in before he pulled me. But yeah, that's why I like the Darius matchup. And then also if you have Ignite, it's even easier. It all just comes down to landing E. Which is usually pretty easy on Darius players. The hard part of this matchup is like getting through the land without dying too much. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm so slow though. But he might try to like E over here. I could maybe go E auto attack there, but I don't want to risk it. Ooh, nice. I mean, I'm not scared of Leona. I am kind of scared of Darius, though. Darius Leona is a good combo. Surely we just fight. We have numbers. I need to kite this guy out, though, just in case. Oh my god, I pulled him mid-dunk, dude. He did the fade away. Been a while since I've seen the fade away dunk. Could you substitute Ignite with Bramble? Uh, honestly, in this matchup, no. I won it. If you don't want to go Ignite, I would just go Executioners. But Armor's not very good versus Darius because he does so much true damage. I actually need one more wave. I'm not used to this stair act change. It's honestly not too bad though, man. I've still been getting stair acts, like it's been fine for me. There has been some games where I've been like a hundred gold off, I guess, which is kind of annoying. I don't know, it is pricey, but it's worth it. I guess we'll go... I mean, we can go top here. We could also go mid if there's a fight, though. It kind of looks like there might be. Oh my god, that Azer damage. I don't want to KS. Um, I still like Sterex a lot more than Ma. Maul's, like, very, very situational. It can be okay if they're, like, insanely heavy AP. But I don't really like the item, to be honest with you. I think a Sterak shield will usually shield more than Omnivamp from Maul will heal you. Because, like, the shield gets massive on the Sterax. This guy was watching mid lane, I think. Into the grinder. Now we get a tier 2. Get a huge chunk of gold. Why is that going on me? Surely the minions were in front of me there. Ocean creatures looking after each other. That's true, actually. I never realized that. 
We're gonna Nami got that ocean synergy. There's a lot of fish champions, isn't there? Or like ocean champions on this game. It's like Fizz, Nami, got a Lowie with the tentacles. There's gotta be some others too. Guys, I don't know about this Baron Cole. What if they steal it? Okay, good. Dude, this Azer damage is crazy. I guess he does have Rabadons, though. Okay, he has triple item. Well, in a game like this, we don't really need resist. Plus, they have Vayne, so I want to get as much damage as possible. Our job late game is to try to E-Flash Vayne and just kill her before she can do anything. Like, even though she's not super fed, her, her farm is pretty good. She'll still be really strong. Seen the tank Azer build? Yeah. Dude, that build looks good. I played versus it yesterday, actually. Yeah, I played versus a tank Azer, and they had Rammus top lane and, like, Skarner jungle. And they also got triple mountain drag with triple tank. And we could... we. We just couldn't kill their front line. And they still did a lot of damage, too. My team should wait for me to push. They need to be a, a little bit careful. They are really fed, but still, they got to be careful here. We should be able to wipe the team fight though. Our jungler played really good for being autofilled this game. I guess when in doubt, or when autofill, just pick a Mew Mew. Dude, I can't even move. I did my job. We put the vein six feet under. I knew Vayne was gonna type something after I E flash on her. The classic ADC, man. Nice, dude. Ergot's feeling good today. All right, let's see what you got, Darius. He's smart going D shield. This lane is a lot harder if they go D shield over D blade. It's such a small thing, but it makes such a huge diff. He's gonna get two here. We'll tie it, hopefully. Got to put some respect on the Darius early game. The nice thing is they have Kane jungle, so if I get ganked, I can probably live. Don't want to fight that when I'm down a level. It's a good E by him. Just wait till I scale, dude. That's what this matchup is. Don't think I've missed a creep yet either. Let's see if he lets me hold this. I'll be a little bit annoying. Wow, he kind of let me hold it, though. 
I did take a decent chunk though. Honestly, kind of not worth it. My jungle's bot side. But it makes it to where you can't recall there, which I think you wanted to. I'm going to go for a recall if he does here. If he stays, I'll stay, but I think he's going to want to back. Actually, I'm going to back anyway because it's cannon. I think this is good. I don't think he's going to crash that wave in time. Hopefully going to end master is going to try to climb higher next split. Nice. That's my plan too. Yeah, I'm hoping I need to play decay games today. I think I'm masters 29 right now on the main account. Oh, nice. I get XP. That's huge. Honestly, didn't really miss that much. But yeah, my plan is to just finish Masters. I've kind of just been playing Decay games as well. I got a little bit demotivated on my main account after I lost 200 LP. And I was playing versus like... I was having the most annoying matchups. There was just so much like Vayne, Twisted Fate, and Olaf top lane. I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to take a break. This is good. We got a big slow push going. He shouldn't be able to fight me, especially once I get six in this huge wave. I do need to get some vision, though. This guy's topside camps are up, so... Kind of feel like he's going to be up here, but also Dragon's up, so I don't know. Maybe he wants to play for that. Bit of a crab shoot. Is this a jungle gank or is he 1v1? Wow, I completely de decimated him. I took like no damage. That was a perfect combo. And we dropped the ignite early. That's actually kind of crazy. Now Kane's coming up here. We'll get out after this play. I think, did he even, I think he did ghost, but he didn't flash. I thought he was maybe going to flash my E. Yeah, really important in the uh, Darius 1v1 though, make sure you guys drop Ignite early. Like if you know you can win with Grinder, drop that Ignite really early. Because you want to get the most value out of it and you want to cancel his heal if he does hit the outer Q. Oh yeah, we got to think about TF ports this game too. But he's probably mainly going to use a bot lane. I, I think you want to try to get the Zeri Janna fed. I think Darius blows against our team comp once we get to fights. Like, how is that guy going to run out of Aesol, Ash, Lux? That's just not... That's not really possible. The tower is going to go on him with the bleed here. Oh, no, I need to heal with D-Blade. All right, we're good. I wonder if I could snipe him. He's low enough. Oh, my God. I wonder how close that was. I wonder if he flashed. He might have flashed. Actually, no, he flashed out of tower. Never mind. I had a feeling that was coming. That's why I'm playing, like, top side of the lane. Mmm, Janna's up here, too. We might just have to take a bad reset. Really don't want to do that, though. Can't really help you out, brother. I wish I could.
What are they doing? They got everybody. If Azel rotates, he might kill everybody. Oh no, he doesn't get the TF. Oh no, he's misplaying. Wow, does Aesol E reset on kills? Because he used it right here. Maybe it resets on kills. I actually didn't know that if it does. Bot lane got double killed. Wait, Janna roamed and they got double killed on the dive. It resets on takedowns? Wow, that's crazy. That ability is so good. That's actually kind of insane. I think it normally has like a super long cooldown too, doesn't it? This guy has Tabby's Phage. His buy's a little bit better. Ooh, that's going to be bad. Maybe with Ignite I can win. Man, right as I pull him, I get dunked. Yeah, it's too hard to fight on Tabby Phage when I'm level 8. I shouldn't have played up in the lane. Let's actually go Boots. I need, a, I need the speed right now. Alright, fair play. That's going to be the only kill he gets in this lane. Man, how come every time I go against Darius, that always happens, by the way. I get the pull right as I get dunked. Like, the fadeaway dunk happens every time I play this matchup. It's so weird. I guess the fights are always just that close. I guess Darius could roam. I don't think he will, but... Never know with these Darius players. Dang, it looks like the team is struggling a little bit. That blue cane is going crazy. I was really hoping he would go red cane this game. Because I think red cane, similar to Darius, it's like really hard to play entire comp. Alright, Aesol's going crazy though. That's a good champ to get fed. If this guy pulls me, I'm going to fling him into tower, by the way. Not if he's that far, though. That was a good pull. He knows what I'm trying to bait. I'm playing, like, right on the edge there to where I can e-buff him into tower. He's definitely been flung into tower a few times. Wow, Janna's here. That's so unlucky. Man, that's so unlucky. I could kill him 1v1 there. But I can't commit to the 1v1 because Janna's there. Man, this is sad. This lane is like so close to going so good. But he's getting a lot of help. It's kind of crazy with how much... I've been playing so much Skarner. When you play Skarner, dude, you get so much jungle help. But when you play Urgot, you get, like, nothing. An ally has been slain. Yeah, Zeri's gonna go crazy now, too. Um, Cole is still worth it, but... I don't, I don't really like Cole versus Darius. It depends on the matchup. I think in really volatile matchups, if you can go double longsword on your first back, then that's better. Darius is a matchup where you kind of need every like little advantage you can. Like every early game advantage. Yeah, good pings. At least I got one play. 
I have my cleaver now, and he doesn't have his item, so we should win. But I'm just afraid of it not being a 1v1. Wow, easy peasy. That Aesol ulti coming in clutch, too. I like how he wasn't even ulting for the Darius and it just hits him. He's just ulting for the fight. The champ is so good. Hey, welcome in, Lazy. Oh, yeah, I need to check my shop thing. I haven't checked it yet. I hope there's a good Skarner skin in my shop. I do have a few of the good ones, but... I might buy one if there's a really good one. I was going to ward Rift, but I guess Kane's bot side, so I don't need to. Alright, we'll go Sterak second in this match. Counter out the Darius ulti. You have Aesol, that's GG. That's sometimes what I think too, but they have Janna, Zeri, which is also really scary. And they're also having a good Len. Kane's gonna play for Rift now. Especially with Zen showing bot side. I don't know why he's doing that. At least we got the dragon this game. That's nice. Kind of down to team fight mid right now with flash up. I can do work. I was going to say, everything's probably warded, though. I feel like they've had really good vision control topside. Because the Janna roams so much. This is a free grinder. Oh my god, dude. Juicy fear. Well, that's how you win a team fight. That's pretty good. That is not too shabby. Wow, we actually have a really good team fight. I didn't know it was that good. I welcome you. We got a really nice wombo combo, unlike everybody. I welcome you. Yo, Gold Lad, thanks for blessing the stream, dude. Appreciate the five gifted. I welcome you. We win a team fight, Gold Lad gifting subs. It's a good start I to the day. Wow, that's really worded too. I welcome you. Or she just saw me run in there and is just guessing. I welcome you. Or God is welcoming all the new subs. Yeah, make sure you guys say thanks to Gold Lad if you got a sub. Very generous. I don't know if this fight's gonna go as good, but we'll see what we can do. I'm kinda late. Ooh, Darius got a reset on that dunk. They need to run. They need to run for the hills. Wait, we can win this, actually. No, we can't. Wow, all because he got that dunk on... Who even was it? Zen? Yeah, it was Zen. If he kills with the dunk, he gets insta-5 stack whenever he hits somebody. So that just, like, set him up for the entire fight. So did Aesol get the shutdown? I don't think he did, right? Yeah, I guess it. I guess he didn't. I thought maybe it, like, wasn't updating, but... Yeah, shutdowns are weird. Like, sometimes it doesn't register until he gets the items. Aesol can get top lane here. That's better. I'm so close to my Sterak, and then our team fight will be way better. But 
Then we can be a true juggernaut. Dang, TF is level 13 already? I'm not even close to 13. Darius has a blue trinket. Mm, he has Sterex off that fight. He got so much gold, dude. I should just back here. Whose Sterex shield is bigger? His is 612, mine is 948. Holy. He gets six more AD than I do, though. I think Darius might have the highest base AD in the game. Ergots is pretty high, though. Hmm, do I stay bot lane? It's so hard to push past River, because they have blue can and TF port. But even just blue can. Like, if blue can comes over, I just die. I can't 1v2. Maybe if I all in the blue can, I can. There's a slight chance. I think we should try to fight mid here. I will give up a wave. I don't know. Ash is dead, though. Maybe not worth. Oh yeah, true, they could Baron. It looks like they probably are if this guy's rotating. They're probably looking. We need that Ashy for the scout. This is the only truth that this would be good to try to fight right now. This would be really good. I'm like one creep off 13 though. I was going to say, if I miss this, I'd probably get Janna to get ulti to go for. Ooh, nice. This could be a good Baron angle. Let's kill the Darius first. Should be pretty free, hopefully. Oh, that E looked really weird. I, like, teleported. Really smart of the TF to go for Tier 2 here. I'm so happy this ace got fed early game, man. You know what actually looks really nice this game is Dead Man's. And I don't think MR is super important right now, so I'm going to get that before Protein. I might even still get Holebreaker too. I do like Dead Man's into either Hullbreaker or Stridebreaker. I think speed is just really value. Because besides Darius, everybody else is really hard for me to catch. Let's try to make some good use of this Baron. Wait guys, free pick. I can 1v2 if TF ports. I want my team to just run at these guys. Oh, nice. Good arrow. Mm, I got two trigger happy. This could be good, though. I got him really chunked. I'll just be here for the moral support. Or if I need to land E. Alright, pretty solid actually. Stare out coming in clutch. 
Man, even after the Sterak nerf, like, this thing feels completely fine. I mean, I guess it's just more pricey, but, like, the item still feels the same. Well, and the cooldown, too, but usually I feel like I still have it. Like, I feel like it's usually up for every fight still. Dang, she played around the shock ends. That's a smart Zeri. She didn't let me go for the shock end procs. I shouldn't be going for that tower, though. That's bad. They got out of that spawn quick, but I thought I could get a little bit of damage. All right, well, we got our dead man's finished. I do kind of think this is a game where it probably is, is better to go frontline rather than stride. Stride would be really good if I was like fed and if I was being, if I was trying to be the carry, but I think we can trust the carries this game. So I'm going to just frontline for them with the protein. Uh, what do you mean lazy? I'm not sure. Like, which champ are you talking about? Dude, every TF goes for this, like, speed build now, though, with Swifties and Trillias. I've been seeing that build so much. Just so much utility. Oh man, I might be dead. I'm definitely dead. Wow, why are they four man bot? That's actually so strange. I guess there's not much to do right now. If my team, I wish my team was a little bit closer to back me up there. Could have been a good fight. I couldn't go for the burst on Darius, by the way, because he has Sterax. Like, I know for sure if I eat that guy, I can't burst him quick enough. I was going to try to go for a TF, but he's just too fast. It's all right, though. We'll just wait for a good team fight. Get the magic mantle for a little bit of MR. Yeah, I know the TF build is pretty annoying to face. Anything with speed is just pretty annoying for Urgot. You just can't really get to it. Unless you have Flash. I think speed in general is just like too, too insane on League nowadays. But then again, it kind of needs to be. Like, it's a really hard thing to balance, because, like, it needs to be for certain champs. Because there's some lobbies where on Urgot, if you don't go speed, you can't play the game. But then the issue becomes when champs that, like, already kite people, like, when a Senna goes speed. Like, she can already kite people, and then she has speed now, too. Then it gets really hard to balance. Dude's level 17. Also, he has port, I don't. Are we gonna do Baron off Darius pick? Oh wow, TF stayed bot. Pushing mid puts a lot of pressure on him. And then I can flank. Man, these guys play around everything. Distracting the Zeri, this has to be worth something. Okay, 
Could have been better, but I got Zeri's Flash, which is pretty huge. She'll be toast next team fight. Their comp is so fast, dude. Gosh, I, I need some speed. But I also need protein. Shut down. Team's fighting without me. I hope it's good. Hope they had a good angle. Five seconds on the grinder, guys. What if she's in that bush? The cooldown's pretty short. I don't think there's going to be a fight for a little while. So the TF actually did get the bot in Hib. I guess I could have just stayed bot. He's got a rapid fire now. That dude's almost full build. Why do they always go for me? Like, this Janna always goes for me, man. Is she alone? Oh my god, really? Okay, these guys just hate me. These guys actually just hate me, dude. This is such an impossible game to split push in. They have full speed TF with port, with actual teleport and a port. They have Bluken, Janna, Zeri, like everything just flies over walls, man. They got a bunch of newer champs. We're playing old school crab. Big old slow juggernaut. But I still love it. I just need to go more for I need to go more for team fights. Team fighting is definitely our strength. Like not only for me personally, but also just as a team. Your E does actually stun minions, by the way, so it's always worth it to E to, like, save the uh, tower if you can. Especially on Seepers. Also works on, like, Yurik Maiden. I kind of need to just hard push bot lane, but I also want to get protein real quick. Let's grab protein, hard push bot. I feel like last item we definitely go stride. Hundred percent. Does my team end the game? Wait, do we actually end here? I really wish I had teleport this game, man. But Ignite kinda actually, I can't even really say we won this land. I think we played it fine, but I didn't like hard win. But I am three levels on Darius with like eighty CS lead. Sorry guys, I'm on super minion duty. Alright, cool. Inib is gonna respawn soon. That'll be nice. Why did Gromp have, have, have his tongue out like that? You guys see that? Okay, let's not split push. Yeah, I know. I've learned my lesson. It's so tough because, like, I want to keep this wave super pushed. Wow, I could have eat that guy. 
it's tough though because like i want to keep that wave super pushed but at the same time it's really hard to push out past river we get soul if we get this drag it's a big win con Okay, this would be a good time to try to fight. Bot wave's pretty pushed. TF is finally, like, looking mid. Now Darius is splitting top. What if we just Ash Arrow here? Got the cane. Oh, yeah, I think that's game. TF is going to try to backdoor the game. I mean, I'll just tank, dude. Drop Ignite on this guy. Easy peasy. I still have my Sterak for tanking, too. Doesn't even pop. 4.2k damage shielded on my Sterak. Uh, same with Darius, too. Nice, GG.